Hey everyone, it's D9 here with CameraSharp.com. As always, a huge shout out to Rock Canyon Studios. And today I'm going to teach you something that's really important with... Just kidding, the audio recording was in there. Three, two, one. Hey everyone, it's D9 here with CameraSharp.com. And today I'm going to teach you something that's really important with automation. And as always, a huge shout out to Rock Canyon Studios. So let's get into this. Okay, the first thing you want to do is hit A to bring open the automation. Or you can click this button up here. Either way, whatever's fine. And what I want to do is I want to be able to record this distorted rhythm and I want it to come in with that filter. And then I want to bring it back out. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to record that sound. I guess I have some crunk drums going on down there. Yes, delete that data. Didn't mean to delete the whole track. Let's get that back here. Only take a second to get this back because I know exactly where it is. At least I thought I did. Uh, let's do the vector groove. That one's cooler anyway, so let's do that. And I'm not so fond of these drums, so let's just mute these. All right. All right, let's come in here. Let's just make sure this is in the right spot. So I'm nitpicky and it's going to bother me like that. Okay, so I want it to, to go up and down with a cutoff. But I want it to play that without me having to use my finger over there on the mouse pad to do that every time. So what I want to do is come in here. First, you have to turn on the automation. And you want to go to write. It's going to tell you, warning, write mode erases multiple parameters in one go without touching anything. In most cases, it's better to use latch or touch. Now, that's true. But if you don't have anything on there yet, you're good to go with uh, just using write. It's not, a, it's not a big deal. But touch, touch when you have a bunch of different things going on, a bunch of different automations, you definitely want to use touch. But if you're just doing one bit of automation, write is always my favorite. Okay, so simply what you do is you just hit play. And you see how that really creates that dynamic range. And you always want to make sure after touch, you bring it back to read or write or touch. You always want to make sure you bring it back to lead. And now what you can do is you can actually take this and, and really just determine where you want it to be. But you got the basic LFO cutoff. You can see it going up right here. So there you go. It's a quick, easy tutorial about how to write your automation and how it's super, super nice. And you can use it on pretty much anything here. You got to make sure you always put it back to read afterwards. And if you have a bunch of different ones, you'd rather use latch or touch. But if you're just doing one automation on your track, write is just fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is D9 with CameraSharp.com here with Rock Canyon Studios. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much.